so I want to talk about in today's video why I've been wanting to give up on YouTube recently and that's why I haven't made a video for almost a week on this YouTube channel. So this is something that just naturally happened and there's a few things as to what led me to feeling no desire for making any YouTube videos whatsoever. So, a little while ago, I did an experiment, a lot of you know, I started making workout videos. I was gonna send my channel in the direction of making those videos only, due to a variety of different reasons. If you wanna know the reasons fully as to why, click the link to another video where I talk about that in detail. And when I did this experiment, the views on the videos that I'm making were just going down and down and down. So I was like, okay, this little experiment didn't go to plan. And I thought it might work, and then again, I thought it might not work, but I tried it out, it didn't work, so I realized that quite quickly, and then I started going back to making similar content like I used to prior to making those specific body weight exercise workout videos. And then once I started coming back to making the content that I used to, the views again were just really, really crap. I even got 300 views on one of my videos, which that has not happened for I don't know how long, a very, very long time. When I say a long time, I mean years and years and years. This YouTube channel has been around for around four years, I think now, which is just like, okay, I'm putting a lot of time and energy into thinking up video ideas, then I'm filming them, then I'm editing them, uploading them, which takes a lot of my time, and then they're really not doing that well whatsoever. So it just felt like the effort to work was just like, man, like, what is going on? This is just, not feeling good to me at all. I'm spending loads of time and energy on this when I could spend time and energy on other things that give me back way more. It's just like, hmm. But what I'm aware of, it seems from making those specific type of videos that maybe a lot of my subscribers have stopped coming back to my channel due to that. I also could have messed up the algorithms as well. So it's just like, okay, that's what's happened. I need to accept that. So I just got to the point recently where I was like, you know what, my drive, and fire and enthusiasm for making content is not there. And I'm someone that is very aware that when you're trying to pursue anything, you can hit a hump where you feel like you don't wanna do it. And it can be good to just push through that. But then there's times when it can be good to listen and take a step back and have a break. Because for example, if I kept pushing through, I probably just start making content on a regular basis where I'm just pushing myself and it's just not gonna be very good content because I'm not feeling very like enthusiastic about making that content. So then it's just gonna make my channel suffer as a whole and then I'm gonna be putting time and energy into it and it's just like, hmm, actually what I need to do is take a step back like I have just recently and then I now feel a natural desire to start making video content again on a regular basis. And this can just be a thing that can be good to apply to any area of life with anything that you are trying to pursue. You need to know when it's good to push because sometimes you can just be lazy and not want to do something. Like for me, certain times I don't feel like going to the gym, but I push myself and I do it. And afterwards I feel really, really good about myself. And I just feel amazing because exercise does make you feel amazing holistically. But then there could be times when you just need to listen to yourself, for example, with the gym, and you might just be really, really tired and you may have been overtraining and you just need to rest. And then you take some rest days off and then you actually come back with more energy and you're stronger and you get a better workout. So this is something that I've been doing with not making YouTube videos because now I'm starting to get a lot of good creative ideas for certain content that I want to make. And I'm someone that's been making YouTube videos for over five years and there's times where you just have so many ideas and you could just make multiple videos a day and then it's other times where you don't really have many ideas or you don't have much drive to do it and there's many times where I've just pushed through that and that's worked for me but there's been a few rare occasions where I've taken a break and when I come back I start making better content and all of my analytics start to go up and it starts to make the channel go more in the direction that I personally desire. And something I want to mention is I did start to ask my viewers what type of content do you want recently after my channel started to massively suffer. And a lot of people gave me loads of ideas, but because I felt no passional driver within me, that's why I haven't been making those videos whatsoever. And when I eventually, just recently, stopped making videos for almost a week, 
The day that I decided to stop making content is very interesting. My sister that lives in England called me and said the video where you talked about the 10 different reasons as to why you're not hitting on the carnivore diet video that I made recently. If you haven't seen that, click the link up above. She watched that and she said, this is an amazing video because she's been trying out the carnival diet it's not been working so well for her and then that video has made her realize some of the mistakes she's been making on the carnival diet that's prevented her from healing all of the damage that was done to her from being on a malnourishing unsustainable vegan diet for around five years and she said that you need to keep making content and i didn't actually tell her that i had felt a desire to stop making content whatsoever she still doesn't know that right now she might now if she's watching this video but that was just a sign, what you could say, from God, Buddha, whatever you call it. I called it the universe, the creator, something higher than myself. It just seemed like a sign that, yes, I still need to be making the content. Because people like her do get great, great. Because, for example, if I hadn't made that video, which I didn't feel a lot of drive to make it, then she wouldn't have benefited from it. And then it wouldn't have helped her to realize certain things that she needed just on the carnival diet so she could thrive and resolve every different health issue holistically. So yeah, sometimes we don't get a lot of views on our videos, content creators on YouTube, even bigger channels than mine. And it's just like, okay, that's just the way it is sometimes. Sometimes you plan to make a video that does really well and it doesn't. And then there's other times where you might not to plan to make a video that much at all and you may just make it spontaneously and it does really really well and you get really surprised the algorithms on youtube are not very consistent and there's many different factors that can go into making a video do really well not that a lot of us youtube content creators will never know or understand and one last thing i want to mention is there are certain things that i'm really passionate about but i know they won't do very well on YouTube and I know a lot of people did say to me on my YouTube channel recently that I should make the content on specific things that I'm very passionate about so it sucks that I can't really do this at the moment and there is an additional thing actually that I just remembered that I almost forgot to share with you and that is recently I wanted to start talking about certain things that are going on in the world that's creating a lot of chaos and certain other things and I made the video on that, sharing my own truth. And I started editing it and uploaded it. And I didn't actually post it, it was scheduled to post. And I actually deleted it because I got really fearful and concerned about posting it. Because guess what, on YouTube, a lot of people think it's freedom of speech, but there's not. It's just like the TV and radio. The advertisers dictate what is allowed on YouTube and what is not. So if you speak about this specific thing, that's controversial and goes against what the advertisers want people to be talking about and they want certain people to believe a certain thing because there's a lot of controlling going on. I could get into serious trouble for uploading that and they could actually remove my YouTube channel. I had this happen to one of my YouTube channels before that had over 1,300 videos. I'd made videos on that channel for five years because they didn't like what I was talking about. So they just removed me just like that which really, really sucked. And I don't want that to happen again. So it's just, yeah, something you have to accept as a YouTuber. And it does suck because there's so many things that I could talk about that would do so well on YouTube, but you're not allowed to talk about them. So it's like, my hands are tied. My mouth is sealed, so to speak. So I can't speak a lot of my truths and talk about a lot of things that people really need to hear. Yes, I already talk about a lot of good things on this channel, but there's so many other things that are way better that I could talk about that I cannot at all. But yeah, that's just the nature of the reality with YouTube. The golden years of YouTube are gone, where you can talk about anything that you want and not get in trouble. As the years go on and on and on, their community guidelines and the other guidelines just get stricter and stricter and stricter. So yeah. That's the last of my thoughts on this. So, some videos you can expect to see from me soon are talking more about raw milk, raw milk fasting, also the dietary changes that I've made to gain a lot of weight quite rapidly, my switch up with my training routine as well is helping me gain more muscle mass and a variety of other different things that are going on within my life. And expect many 
new ex-vegan interview videos coming very soon as well. And if you have any type of videos you'd like me to make, let me know down below and I'll make them for you as soon as possible. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.